This is the incredible Victoria Hotel I stayed in last night. Really valued, valuable rooms. Um, it's bin day and I just got some breakfast from the friendly grocer. I shall continue on. Good morning. This hat is fantastic in the sun, but when the wind hits it goes because the brim is so high or so long. I'm leaving Port MacDonald. Been a lovely little stay for overnight in a nice warm room. Now I continue on the jaggedy cliffs. South Australia's most southerly point and I can say that despite the arctic breezes and the wet weather it was far easier to get to than South Point in Victoria. Stumbled upon this little hut. There's a jaffa lion, firewood, old school seating, fireplace, and then this view. So, this whole area is basically controlled by South Australian water. There's a lot of fences around, but with the exception of this track I've just now stumbled upon, I haven't found any signs of life. Zoom in to where I came from. That lighthouse I came from about five, six kilometers on the other side of that. Another day is coming to an end. South Australia is starting to shine. That Arctic breeze is starting to subside and the sun is coming out. I have been asked, do you feel a bit lonesome sometimes, Adam? And I'm very lucky to be doing this. And I'm doing it in an era where I can talk to people that I love. So what I will say is my respect for the great adventurers of the past who were so isolated. It's just increased dramatically. I found this great little hollow. I'm tying my tent down with weights and water, hoping that it'll stay. While I may be alone, I am very grateful to be doing this.